Where do you start when building your guitar tone? I mean, it's a pretty valid question because there's a lot of components you could start with. You could start with a guitar, or the pickups, or pedals, or amps, or microphones, or cables, and on and on and on and on. And you know what? Different points in my guitar playing career, if you want to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. I probably would have given you a different answer and an overly complicated answer at that. But now I pretty much start in the same place every time. Tone begins with the amp. And yeah, for all the guitar diehards out there who are saying that's completely wrong, tone begins with the fingers. Well, you're right. But in terms of guitar gear, I would say the foundation of your tone is the amp. So today I'm gonna walk you through my process of dialing in an amp for worship, but you can go through the same process with your amp in any genre, and you can do the same thing with your modeler, so there should be something in here for just about everyone. When I think of worship guitar, the amp sound I'm going for is probably something chimey, yet warm and round, and probably clean to edge of breakup. We want something that's basically a good all around foundational tone. That way when we add all our pedals and effects, we can really like enhance this thing, pull the most out of the amp and pull the most out of our pedals. The amp I'm using today is my Supro Delta King 12 and I'm going through the line out just so that I don't get blown out while I'm kind of dialing this in and talking you through the steps. Just right off the top, if you're using a tube amp, you probably want to let it warm up for a little bit. That's always a good idea. You'll notice as you play tube amps a little longer, they do tend to sound a little better. When it comes to the guitar, you know, that's going to be a preference thing for you to decide. But what I will say is when you're dialing in an amp, it's a really good idea to dial it in based off the bridge pickup. For me at least, I like to be full volume full tone. I want my harshest, brightest, dirtiest sound to dial in this amp. And the thinking behind that is if I can get the amp sounding good with my guitar in the harshest position, it's going to still sound good in those more sweet and rounded sounds you get from middle, neck positions, and things like that. Every amp's going to be a little different control-wise, but most of them now seem to feature a three-band EQ being bass, middle, treble, and then probably two volume knobs. When you do have two volume knobs, usually what's happening is the first volume knob is kind of like the preamp gain. So if we turn that volume knob up, our guitar signal gets louder, but it's also getting more distorted. The second volume, or the master volume as it's usually called, is supposed to be for volume control. So the idea is you could blast that preamp volume and then keep the master volume low so that way you're not blowing yourself out. That's just ridiculous, guys. I mean, we're in a condo right now. But with the tube amp, there is a sound to the distortion of pushing the master volume as well. Here, it's really gonna be about finding the sweet spot of getting the amount of distortion you want at a volume you can live with or work with. In this case, since we're going through that line out, our master volume is basically bypassed, so it's not gonna do anything. The first thing I'll do when I'm plugging into my amp is set everything to noon. Go treble up to 12, mids up to 12, and bass up to 12. Now, volume, why not? Let's go all the way up to 12 as well, and let's see what we have. This is a pretty basic clean sound. It's a little sterile for my taste. Let's see here. I think it's a little bit tubby, so I want a little more treble. Definitely want a little more treble. Let's try turning that up. And then, you know, let's be aggressive. Let's go up a lot. And I just want tons more distortion. So I'm just actually gonna go volume all the way up and see what that sounds like. Way, 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 way better. <laughs> Nice, that actually sounds pretty good right there. I could definitely see that being a very usable tone. It's a, a little brutal maybe for my taste, so I'm gonna back the treble back just a little. What does mid sound like? That could mean a lot of things, right? So I'm gonna just turn it all the way up. And if I turn it all the way down. Okay, cool, I like this. There's something that makes it feel a little more natural, so I'm gonna give us a little bit of that. And uh, yeah, let's see what that is. I think that actually sounds really nice. That's cool to my ear. Now to your ear, 
You may want it a little darker. You may want it a little brighter. I'm curious to see what... Stand by. <laughs> if you're a telly person, I'm sure you've had this pop off before too. Let's see what this neck position sounds like. I like the little bit of creaminess. That's just sort of a sweet spot for me, like here in the middle. I think that's gonna work really well for pedals and all kinds of guitars. What I am curious about here is, I think the drive is gonna be too aggressive, but let's do it anyway. Yeah, I already know. I'm curious to see what boost gives us. And without it. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's more or less the same thing, maybe just a little saturated, but I think this is a really nice tone. a little more bass. I think that's nice too, you know. This is one of those things you can, you could dial this into the 10th degree and just keep going and going and going. Eventually, you know, you call it a day. I really like it. That's generally the kind of amp sound I like to build from when I'm doing worship music. And now, let's throw in effects. What I like about this tone is, even though there is a certain amount of distortion here, you can... You can very easily dial that back with your dynamics. You could definitely get even rattier with this and still probably considered in the edge of breakup territory, but at least with worship, there is so much clean guitar that I think just being on the like actual edge of breakup is a pretty sweet spot to be. There's a lot more we could say and talk about, but hopefully this gave you good insight on how to go about the process of dialing in your amp tone. Guitar tone doesn't need to be overly complicated or confusing. <laughs> Maybe it does, but <laughs> you know, just start turning the knobs and once it sounds good to you, roll with it. Even if that means turning the treble knob all the way up and turning everything else all the way off. Although I'm pretty sure that would not sound good. And if there's one part of the process not to skip, it's probably this one. If you don't like your amp tone, then you're just gonna be building your sound off of a subpar sound. You'll end up using your effects and pedals to cover up and correct what you don't like about your amp tone. So. If you get this right, you'll be in a much better place. If you enjoyed the video today, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And we'll catch you next time.